Emboldened by the power of song, Jezebel set out to find the one man that could save her from her impending nuptials. Fortunately for her, Johnny's trail of destruction wasn't too hard to follow. One night with any lover, but you have to punch a panda. Do you do it? Ooh, good question. Um, Mr. Gat? Who are you? Well, I'm a... We're not doing that again. Oh, okay. I'm Jezebel. Good to know. What are you doing? Threatening you. You're not marrying the president. I don't want to marry the president. Well, that was easier than I thought. My dad's making me do it. What now? Now I'm holding you hostage. You don't need to do this. Yeah, that's what hostages always say. No, like, you really don't need to do this. I'm here to help you. Yeah, but I already have the gun drawn, so, uh... Are you kidding me? Maybe. I'm not sure yet. I'm kind of winging it. Can you wing it without the gun? Eh, it's a comfort thing. Not for me. What do you want? For you to put the gun down. Get used to disappointment. You sound like my father. What? He's always telling me that life is about misery, not happiness. That dreams only exist to make people forget about their own mediocrity. Man, that's depressing. Being the devil's daughter sucks. What do you want? I want to punch my dad in the face. We're gonna get along just fine. Of course, Jezebel was speaking metaphorically, but Johnny didn't notice. Jezebel was eager to help Johnny in any way she could, and vowed to find a way to sneak him into the palace. Johnny frowned at the seemingly arbitrary amount of time required for Jezebel to find a way to sneak him in. But he accepted the fact that without traditional missions, this was the best way to further the story.